Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a terrarium I built probably two, maybe three months ago and I've never dedicated a video to it. You might have seen it in the background here and there, but I've actually never shown it. So let's go take a look. So the aquarium is a 37 gallon tall. This is actually the first aquarium I bought when I got back into the hobby a really, really long time ago. It's just been sitting in my garage collecting dust. I don't really trust the seams anymore. So I thought, why not make a terrarium out of it? I have a lot of extra plants and a lot of extra supplies after making that 55 gallon paludarium. So I figured it would just be perfect for a terrarium. So there is just a very brief video on how I set it up. Seriously guys, it took me about 10 seconds to make this terrarium. All extra stuff, like I said, laying around. You got the clay hydro balls down here, screen, soil. So if you're wondering what lives in here, it's my female crested gecko. You can see her reflection right there. Turn this around. She's probably angry that I'm waking her up. But there you go, there she is. Not gonna bug her too much since it's daytime and she is sleeping. Here's her food dish up over here. Need to fill that up tonight. But yeah, just a very, very quick and basic terrarium and I think it looks great. And of course, this is a few months after the initial setup. So we are ready to add some springtails, possibly some isopods, but I'm gonna grab those now. So here is my colony of dwarf white isopods, which I am pretty sure I may have killed I'm not sure, but I haven't seen any in quite some time. Regardless though, there are lots of springtails in here. You can see them crawling around in there. Let's see, I'm just gonna start throwing this stuff in here. Kinda wherever it goes, it goes. To be honest, I'm gonna end up dumping all of this in there, but I wanna see if I can find any of these dwarf white isopods. But we definitely don't have a shortage of springtails in here. I don't know if the camera's picking those up. Oh, there we go, right there. So there are still some in here that makes me really happy. That little white speck right there is an adult dwarf isopod. Oops, probably just crushed it. And I actually see babies in there now that I'm looking at it. Here you see the adult right here, this other white speck right there, that's actually a baby isopod. Now that is really cool considering I thought I killed these off, like I said. I uh, set them in front of the window on accident and forgot about them. Kinda got a little hot in here, but looks like we have some survivors. So I'm actually just going to dump this entire contents back here in the corner. Just like that. And we're just going to spread it around, make it look a little bit neater there. Alright, there we go. So we got springtails, we got isopods in here now. There is one right there, little dwarf isopod. All right, and just like that, we have a terrarium that took about 10 minutes to set up. I'm not even joking, guys. This is all stuff I had laying around, extra plants, like I said. So I've got probably about, well, if I'm being honest, 30 minutes into this terrarium. And it's not doing too bad. The plants are growing great. I'm constantly having to, you can see, clip these guys because they're getting too tall. And then I just throw them down in there and let them decompose. And here you kind of get the full overview. I did actually cover up this plant, so I'm going to have to fix that. Don't want that to die off. But there you go. I need to... Add some more construction paper on the sides here. I want the sides to be black. This piece of construction paper is just another extra piece I'd laying around. You can see it's not even big enough. So we'll fix that next time I go to any store that sells construction paper. But I'm thinking this looks pretty dang sweet. These plants here really starting to take off, spreading over here, but really not bad. I'm gonna mist it down here real quick. Alright everyone, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is one of those projects where I was just out in the garage and I saw the aquarium and I was like, you know what, let's just throw a terrarium together real quick. I got everything I need. Let's throw it all in there and see what happens. And I think it turned out quite nicely. I'm really, really happy. I'm really looking forward to what this is going to look like in a few more months when a lot of these plants grow in even more. And now it's bioactive. It's just going to be a lot of fun. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time.